coach is Grant Taft. And today, he'll test 10th-ranked Arkansas live in an historic battle under the lights and under the sunlight in Fayetteville. You see the wind takes it three and a half, four yards deep, and Foster will run five now. Dump pattern, tipped and intercepted. Patrick Williams. Out of bounds at the Baylor 43. Down he goes. Back at the 25, Michael Shepard from Monroe, Louisiana. Murray in motion. Oh, option pitch to Raphael. And he's sacked behind the line. Aaron Jackson and Patrick Williams come up from the team. Over the middle, and that again is the running back. Over the middle to Mims, and Mims breaks Look free. Out. David Mims will not be stopped. Touchdown, Baylor. No, they'll rule him out of bounds at the one. The last tight end look for Baylor, second and goal from the one. Mims gets it in. Baylor gets a touchdown. Right now. Three receivers are out, and Horton has it over the middle. At the 47-yard line, first down, Arkansas. But the penalty right here has got him in a hole. Lindsay in motion. And again, the option pitch to Rouse. Rouse down to the 16-yard line. First down. Razor. Used to call that power football. Let's see what we see on third and two. Wow. Uh, a little finesse and a touchdown for Rouse. Chance from Bill Mallory, isn't it? On second and five, it'll be second and seven. As Ken Benson, the outside linebacker, 14, got an excellent average. Well, it's a knuckleball, but it goes through. He's 13 of 15 on a knuckle. 10 for Baylor. Boy, he's resourceful back there. Finally dumps it out to the tight end. And Alonzo Pierce has a first down and then some to the 42-yard line of Arkansas. Number 17. You see the timeouts remaining, one apiece. And on first and 15, that's Greg Anderson. First down, Baylor at the 24-yard line. It's hooking, but not before it gets through. Ireland connects. Baylor has them tied 10-10 at halftime. Let's get now back to our college football studios to Chris Fowler. Chris? Third down and nine. He has a tight end, Winston open. And he makes the grab at the 35. Billy Winston, the talent you were seeing on their feet on homecoming. Gable, marker down, thrown in an area where you'd expect holding. Still, Brad is really good. Second and six. Reverse. Derek Russell, he has the 4 3 8 speed. The sprinter on the Southwest Conference Championship team. First down at the Baylor 43. Six of the eight teams run the 4 3 defense. Grovey dumps it over to Winston. First down, Hogs at the 23. Hafford made the. There he is again. That's five. That's 10. That's another first down. puts it through they get the three on fourth and two but use a timeout remember that as we head to the fourth quarter at field with the conservative route level in at quarterback number 18 dumping it to Raphael Edwin Raphael right back in the hog space down to the third quarter level 
to Mims, who scored Baylor's only touchdown, and David Mims is horse collared at the line of scrimmage. Nick Thomas. It looks good. Whoa! And it has been a tough year for Grant Taft. Quick drop. A shoulder fake. And now look out. up in the air, and Mims saves the day for Baylor. Boy, that could have been a turnover and a touchdown. And that will end the third quarter. Between A&M, Arkansas, and Texas, they could go to the Cotton Bowl. It's a lot of ifs. Complete. Oh. Cedric Fillmore. Out of Little Rock, Arkansas. 21-yard attempt now. Todd Wright boots it through. Arkansas gets three. They lead by six in Fayetteville. is still in at quarterback. Here's the counter pitch to Mims. And the Hogs are ready at the 21-yard line. Again, they got to continue. Hey, the draw. Here he goes. Rouse down to the 46-yard line. First and 10. Option. Rouse has plenty of room. Blackman gets in the way. Ushering. Yep. Plenty of room. Hatfield is a team record. They won the national championship for Frank Royals. Love it. Well, Chad Rowland all over him. Out of Sherman, Texas. Third down and five. Mims intercepted. Pat Burris. Arkansas first down at the 10. Jim Brando saying so long from Fayetteville, Arkansas. Our final 19 to 10. We'll see you next week when Maryland takes on Virginia. Let's